Ladies and gentlemen, look who's here, it's John Roderick. Theoretically. <laughs> is there a John Roderick in the house? Oh, there he is! <laughs> Lightly jogging to the stage, it's John Roderick, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, how you doing? You look relaxed, man. You're not even wearing socks. <laughs> Just cruising. <laughs> Is this too close to you? Should I be, uh... <laughs> Over here? You ever... No, it's too close to me. No, you can't. Just <laughs> <This is>. the <laughs> base area. <laughs> <laughs> He's right, it is the base area. It is. Those base frequencies just fill up that whole yeah. corner. This is kind of mid-range over here. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> this is the high end. <laughs> shelf. High level. High shelf. Uh, this is a e song. EQ terms, everybody. EQ terms. <laughs> We're making inside musician, we inside baseball musician jokes. This and, they're, and they're really going over. <laughs> <laughs> and explaining them is really going over, too. Stick with it. So far, so good. Uh, go ahead, Nikki. Do you want to explain this song? Well, so, uh, what, when was it? Last year? Oh, who can remember? Was it last summer? No, it was the summer before. Some time ago. Jeez, so Pete. Jonathan and I, we, uh, we realized that we weren't, not either one of us, making enough money. <laughs> and we thought, how does one make more money in the job of musician? And we both came to the conclusion simultaneously that we needed a holiday album. It makes sense. A lot of people have. Damn, God, he could have lived town. You know, that's that. Yeah, right. That's a million, billion, trillion dollars behind that. Jingle song. bell, jingle bell, jingle your favorite. Jingle bell rock. <laughs> the best years of stuff. Time. As I think it doesn't even exist and isn't even very interesting and not even very clear what the hell it is. <laughs> jingle bell rock. Don't no, overthink it. Everybody's putting their jingle bells on and going to Jingle Bell Square. <laughs> that's right. If yeah. you haven't been there, you know, maybe you weren't invited. Did he have Jingle Horse? Jingle Horse? Yeah, Jingle Horse. Jingle Horse is back in the back. Every jingle Horse is Jingles. Everybody loves the sound of Jingle Bells. Let's, let's imagine a universe made entirely of bells. Yeah, it's called, it's called Brony Culture. <laughs> anyway, our decision to make the holiday album was instantly complicated by this attitude right here. <laughs> I hate most Christmas songs, it's true. Jonathan said, I do not want to ever, I don't want to do any Christmas covers. I don't want to use the word cheer. I don't want to use the word merry. <laughs> he had an entire list of things he would not do. I just wanted to talk about the sad, twisted, dark side of Christmas. <laughs> Which I really want people to buy holiday albums. <laughs> anyway, we, we wrote and recorded a Christmas album together in the space of a uh, little... Six hours. Yeah. That's right. As little time as possible. We budgeted a certain amount of time, and then we spent most of that time sitting with our feet on the coffee table, drinking. And then, oh! We recorded a bunch of these songs, and then uh, when we went back to the tape to refresh ourselves before we, well, to relearn the songs. Right, we could capture all of our ideas on cassette tape. And then we, we realized that we had not, the tape machine hadn't worked. So we, uh, I don't know if we even had pushed record. The tape was completely blank, just a kiss. Probably all the good ideas were lost. Probably. We, we were using cassette tapes, of course, because we are technologists. But it's safer than digital. <laughs> anyway, this song is a song. So anyway, uh, we sold fewer copies of this Christmas album than there are people in the room here. <laughs> so some of you have really dropped the ball. <laughs> It's on sale at the table in the back if you missed it somehow. If you if you weren't googling Joe Co Joe Ro, ho ho ho. <laughs> uh, this is called the week between. It's not even about Christmas. So uh, it's about the week in between Christmas and New Year's. It's one of my favorite weeks of the year because ain't nobody getting anything done that week. All the pressure's off, man. 
I love it. But it's apropos because this uh, this week that we spend together is like the week between Christmas and New Year. And you're right. Yeah. Everything stops, at least for us. Yeah. Here we go.